Hello guys, welcome to the second player review, um, the second icon in my team, Roy Keane. Finally got him after such a long grind, it, it took so long. Like, I accidentally played two squad battle games with the same league that I didn't need to. Yeah, but yeah, I finally got him. Um, first things first, uh, I just want to start off by saying that if you guys could subscribe, that would help a lot. And if you do like the video or enjoy it, don't forget to press the like button because it does help me a lot. So, um, yeah, so it took me such, it took me quite a while to get him. But I think I got a lot of the tokens a lot quicker than other people, but it, it was such a grind. Um, another thing I wanted to say was um, I'm going to do like a wager with my friend. And I'll probably have that in a video. So I was thinking maybe I'll do like a pink slip of like coins with um, a subscriber or something. So if you guys want that or anything, just um, comment down that below. And yeah, those are his stats on his card. You can view that in game as well. And that's the team I'm playing with. But I play the current CDM, Keen, right centre mid and Pogba, left centre mid. And the rest of the team is the same. So that's the first team I'm playing with. Um, as I was saying, was um, if there's any other players you'd like me to review, like a Vardy, Politano, um, Osic, that that um, 82 rated like really fast player, and yeah, maybe a Mares road to the final. Any of those, just comment them down below and let me know. So yeah, um, just start by talking about Keane. He surprised me. He's actually quite fast for his card. Um, the first three or four games I use him I use him with just the base chem style and then I put him on the shadow and then he turns out really fast um, he's got very good passing and he's his dribbling is very good as well which I didn't expect like he moves in and out of positions quite well um, I do play him on the right for the first couple of matches then I move him into centre mid so yeah look, you can see like his um, Elsic dribbling um, is really good like he keeps control of the ball quite well and I don't know, it just, it just reminds me of Kante a bit because I, th I thought he'd be a lot taller actually. He's only 5'11", so he's not that tall. And in-game, he doesn't seem that tall. But yeah, I thought he was going to be like 6'2", 6'3". So in-game, he's quite small. But yeah, um, his dribbling and his passing is very good. His shooting isn't that good. I think his only good stat is long shots. And his shot power isn't that high, which is a bit confusing. Like, how did he have good long shots and not a lot of shot power but um yeah so I, th I expect it to be the other way around but yeah um yeah his dribbling is good and his passing is very good um defensively um he's quite solid i think i play him in centre mid first couple games and you don't uh, like, I, I didn't really see him that much like only if the ball's on that side of the pitch and what team that is like the first three teams are like really good but that team's amazing i'm gonna say um, but yeah, um, when he's, um, when I, while I'm playing him in the centre mid position, I can't really tell like that much. Like he doesn't contribute that much defensively. Um, but then I do move him to centre mid after. Like he does win the ball. Then like he'll just walk into a player and just win the ball. Like that's what he does. And his interception is very good as well. Um, also, this is the first video. Yeah, I don't get how Oblak saves that. Like this is like the 115 minute, and he just makes that save. Yeah, I just wanted to add that in. But. Um, uh, as I was saying was there's there'll be um, two videos to this review this is the first one so I played 10 games I mean this is the first five games and then I'll have maybe another five or maybe ten or something for the second um, video of his review but yeah you can see like his um, close control bone control is very good and yeah so I played and then after I move into CDM I don't think it's in this game is it no yeah so here yeah, I still have him in sentiment so he's only like the only time you really, you really see him on the pitch is um, offensively is when he, when the ball's on the right hand side, obviously, and defensively not as much. You you wouldn't you you don't see him, so that's why I do move him to CDM. So here, obviously, um, before the game is a sentiment, but my custom tactics moves him to CDM, and um, yeah, his um, he, he wins the ball like his interceptions are really good and his passing is very good there, and, uh, and you can see then I don't know how I score that, but yeah, um, so. Um, I keep him in C and then I now I'm just keeping him in CDM with the shadow chem style. And is that very good? And I don't, I don't, I'm not, can't remember what his work rates is, work rates are, but he gets up the field quite a lot. And then I have like Sissoko Decora like covering him. So here he scores like a really good goal. 
um yeah i think he has high high i'm guessing so from cdm it does push up a lot but have the other sentiment who covers for him so yeah um surprisingly he, he scored a very nice goal there but yeah he intercepts the ball a lot and he should have kept had better ball control there. but yeah he, he'll win the ball back like very easily and for a player who's practically free using the icon swaps like why would you not use him you know now unless obviously you have the tokens to get gerard but yeah um he's the guy to get um and then here um i don't know what his players doing there but then he gets his second goal of the game and that wraps it up yeah he's i don't know he's a very good all-round player like in cdm it feels like he's playing center mid so maybe you might want to have like another player who like cover for him but yeah that's for the first episode and if you guys could like subscribe or leave a like on the video that would help me a lot and let me know what other players you'd like to see so yeah thanks for watching and catch you guys soon